guys welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to be reviewing yet another brand new page builder plugin called breakdance yep that's literally the name of this new page builder and whatever happened to the good old fashioned names we used to have for our page builders you know we used to have names like wp bakery visual composer elementor bricks builder and so on now we have names like Oxygen and uh, Zion Builder, and now we have Breakdance as the new page builder in town. Who knows what the next uh, page builder will be called? Maybe you know Bazooka or you know Renegade Page Builder or something like that. Anyway, that's not important. What important, what is important though, is whether or not this new page builder is actually good or bad. Now, interesting story: the developers of oxygen were actually the ones who developed this new page builder called breakdance now why they chose to develop a brand new page builder when they already have one that's quite powerful it's i i personally think it's one of the most powerful page builders uh, i don't know why they chose to build a new page builder some people are saying that well the pricing model of Oxygen wasn't sustainable. Uh, other people are saying that they weren't able to get enough users for Oxygen because I said in my review that Oxygen was extremely powerful and it felt like a page builder built for developers and not just regular uh, WordPress users. So I felt that even though it was extremely powerful, a lot of people might be turned off because they might not be able to take full advantage of just how powerful uh, Oxygen was because they simply didn't have the skills. So I'm guessing that Breakdance is going to be like a slightly toned down version of uh, Oxygen and it's going to be meant to compete with the likes of Elementor and Beaver Builder and uh, and so on. I don't know. I don't know who the developers are. They've never reached out to me. I don't have any relationship with them, so I don't know. But I took a look at the plugin, uh, the page builder, and I was able to build out uh, this page. It's not the best page you've, you've ever seen, obviously, but this was just for testing purposes. And uh, by the way, you can get the plugin for free right now. It's still in the alpha stage. So it's not yet ready to use on actual live websites. But if you want to test it out, you can go to breakdowns.com and you can download the alpha version. I am guessing that the paid version is going to be uh, $149. I don't think they'll have a free version. I think it's going to be just simply uh, a, a paid for plugin. Uh, whether or not it's worth $149, uh, we'll find out. But this was what I was able to quickly build. They do have a tutorial on their own YouTube channel showing you how to work with the plugin. I didn't watch the video until I built this page because I wanted to see how easy it would be for me to build a page uh, without uh, watching any previous tutorials. And I have to say that it was relatively easy for me. I had a few issues trying to figure out one or two things, but uh, it wasn't that complicated. So what I want to do right now is I want to show you how uh, you would work with the plugin. So the thing is, when you install uh, the plugin, it's going to ask you to disable your default uh, WordPress theme. You can choose to keep your theme if you want to, but if you want Breakdance to be able to build uh, templates, keep in mind that it's not just a, a, a page builder plugin, it's actually a full site uh, page builder plugin. So you can build templates for your header, footer, uh, single page, uh, post page, and so on. So you will have the option to disable your theme and let Breakdance take uh, complete control, which is what I did. So let me go straight to the back end right now and show you. This is the tab right here, Breakdance, okay? And you have, you know, you like your home, uh, templates, headers, footers. Let's build out the header first of all, okay? So I'm going to click on headers right here. I already built the my first global header. I'll go ahead and simply trash it and just build a header from scratch and show you how I did, I did that. So uh, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add header and then you can title the header. So I'll say uh, header, you know, uh, header one and then location where do you want to apply this header to? We're going to apply it everywhere. And then the cool thing here is you also have conditions. So you can add conditions like say, hey, you know, only display this header when the user is logged in. If the user is logged out, you can use dynamic data and so on. Pretty, pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead now and add the header. Okay, now I'm going to edit the header in Breakdance. I still, 
I still can't get about that name. Like, imagine imagine somebody asking you, hey, you know, you built your WordPress website, yeah? Uh, what page builder did you, did you use to build your WordPress website? And then you tell them, oh, I used Breakdance. It's like, you know, <laughs> it's just a weird name. Anyway, all right. So what you're looking at right here would be the back end of Breakdance. This is where you actually build out the content. So you're going to have this plus button in here, which you can use to add your elements. You click in there. And boy, you have access to a very wide variety of elements. They say it's over a hundred and it is a lot. It is a lot of elements. We'll talk about them a bit later, but let's build out the typical standard uh, two column header where you have the logo on the left and then your menu on the right. So we have section in here. I'm going to add the section and then inside I can now add a column and then I can choose my two column structure if I wanted to. And then it's very easy, like in here, I'm just going to cl click on the plus button and we can add our logo. Now, unlike Elementor and a few other page builders that can pull the logo from your appearance customizer, you can add your logo in the WordPress backend. I don't think this plugin can do that. I might be wrong, but I didn't see the option to do so. But nevertheless, that's not so important. Uh, what we can do is we can simply add an image. Okay, and then we can choose our logo from the image. Uh, let me just drag my record away. All right, so from here, I have my logo right here. I'm going to click on choose, and then I can go to link, and then right here, I can go to URL, and then click on the URL button right here, and then simply choose the home page. Uh, let me search for home. And, oh, no, sorry, I have to use the second tab, I'm sorry. <laughs> the second tab right there, home. Okay, so homepage, add the link. And uh, that's it. So this image will now link to the homepage. Now for the second column, I'm simply gonna add the menu. The interesting thing about this plugin is that you have the ability to create a mega menu. It's right here, you have the menu builder. Now when you add that, by default, the plugin will provide you with some data to work with. So right now you can see we have home products that has like a drop down. And you can see right here, it's really, really awesome. Use cases, developers, about, which also has an image. So you can simply click on any one of these tabs. You come in here, you can edit the text, the columns. You can show another section. Column. Uh, we'll talk about this a bit later once the plugin becomes officially released. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the mega menu and let's just use the good old fashioned uh, WordPress menu. So WP menu in here and then I can choose from my menus from the back end. I'm going to go with the main menu and uh, that's it. Okay, what can we do right now? Well, I can click outside just where you have the main section and I can do things like, you know, go to the background, add a background color. Let's add this uh, version of gray. Also, the thing is, in addition to editing your section, you can also edit the columns holding each element. So to do that, you just click somewhere outside the actual element itself. So you can see right now, I'm clicking within the column for the menu. I click in there, and from here, I can go to like layout. I can add the vertical align, you know, do other things like, you know, add gaps, align them to the left, right. I can come over here to size, increase the width of that particular column if I wanted to. And then for the actual menu items themselves, I can click on them. And then from here, I can go to the edit button, where you can, I can configure the desktop menu itself, go to links, and then from links, I can now come over here to typography. Uh, I can incre increase the font size. Uh, I can change the, the font family as well and, <clears throat> and so on. And, you know, change the weight, things like that. So it's very, very, very easy to use. And for most elements, you will have three different sections. You will have the first section where you can choose the actual content. You will have the style section where you can change things like the size, weight, and so on. And then the advanced section where you can do things like, you know, add your custom CSS, hide the particular elements in certain situations. And speaking of which, uh, under the hide breakpoint, once you choose your breakpoint, you also have the conditions option where you can choose to show the element under specific conditions like, hey, if the uh, user <clears throat> is logged in or things like that, uh, what's the user's role, things like that. I don't think Elementor has this by default. I think you do have to add 
an additional add-on in, in order to be able to make use of this kind of feature. But with Breakdance, you have that feature already uh, inbuilt, which is pretty uh, awesome. All right, I'm going to go back to the main section and let's go over to spacing. So right here, I'm going to add a spacing of just 10 pixels and then I, and I, I can click on apply all to apply it everywhere so we don't have that much spacing. And that's uh, pretty much the header all built out. I'm going to go ahead and I'll click on save and uh, that's it. Now, the wonderful thing about a breakdance, one cool feature I have seen is that <clears throat> unlike other page builders where you would have to maybe go back to the back end and then go to the next page you want to edit in there, with breakdance up here where you have editing header, I can simply choose a page that I want to edit without having to go to the back end. So I can click on home right now and the home page will load directly in the breakdance uh, back end. However, keep in mind that you would have you would need to have previously edited that page with breakdowns before. If it's a page you've never edited with breakdowns before, you just created the, the page uh, brand new, you will have to go to that page from the back end, edit with breakdowns for the first time, and then you will have the option to edit that page uh, the next time you click on the tab uh, up there. Okay, so let me just walk you through a few of the things I did in here. Like for example, this is your typical header. I had the header in there. I can you can change the tags from an H1, H2. You have your styles in here as well, and of course advanced and so on. Now for the images, very 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 cool feature. If you go to the advanced tab, uh, I'm sorry. If you go to the style tab, you will have the effects tab right here, and then you can add things like your masks. Right, this is available on Elemental, but still pretty cool that in here. You can add your masks in there. You can make it like a star. You can change the size as well. Uh, position the mask anywhere you want it to. So you have all these pretty cool effects and animations available for you uh, with Breakdance. And same goes with the video as well. You can actually add videos from uh, YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Daily Motion. You also have the option to laser load the videos as well, which I found to be pretty cool. And overall, you know, you have a ton, you have a ton of so many elements to work with. Icon box, image box, your sliders, your grids, you know, your, your progress bar, uh, image accordion, logo list, testimonials, notifications, SoundCloud, Google Map, just about everything you can think of, Facebook, Twitter, and so on, uh, share buttons. And of course, you also have the advanced tabs, like, you know, your advanced slider, short code short code wrapper it's all available in here you also have your dynamic uh elements of course where you can pull things like your you know post title uh post excerpt post list and so on you also have the forms builder which i haven't used but I i'm pretty sure it's going to be quite powerful and uh also if you've installed woocommerce on your site you will have access to the woocommerce uh, elements which are a lot as you can see you pretty much have everything you need now speaking of the woocommerce uh let me show you uh one of the pages that i uh, added uh, let me exit to wordpress real quick so all i did here was to install uh woocommerce and then i imported the sample products from woocommerce let me go to pages and I'm going to shop. I'm just going to show you how it will look like by default. So this is how your shop page will look like by default uh, when you install WooCommerce uh, with your Breakdance uh, page builder plugin. It's very, very, very neat, very simple, looks pretty awesome. Now, if you wanted to edit the actual styling of your WooCommerce page, you can take advantage of something known as the global styles. Up here in Breakdance, you have this thing, Global Styles. You click in there, and this is one of the best features of this uh, page builder plugin so far. It's really powerful. So right there on the right right here, you can see we can now add things like colors, right? We can change the text of our colors, or change the color of our text, rather. We can change the color of our headings and so on, buttons, typography. But then down here, we have for uh, WooCommerce. So the typography, I can click in there. And then for the body font, I can go with like, you know, Acme, and you can see it has changed. The heading font, let's go with something like uh, Alata, you know, whatever that is. You can see right now, it's changing. And I can do a lot for the rest, you know, like buttons and links, the forms, other. It's pretty freaking awesome. Let me go to an actual uh, regular page, like the uh, homepage in here. And let's go to the global uh, styles. 
Oh, uh, before I do that, let me just quickly show you up here. You have the, you know, the undo button, the redo button. You also have like the structure, which is very similar to what you have in Elementor, where you can simply quickly choose a particular column or element to work with. And then in here, you have your classes and selectors, your history, your preferences, where you can do things like add custom fonts, add your custom brick fonts as well. Uh, you can enable the dark mode, which I personally love as well, and a whole bunch of other stuff. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go to the global uh, settings in here. All right. So right here, right now, for colors right now, the text, I can change the color of the text to something, let's say something like, uh, you know, like pink or something or red. Now, you can see all the text right now has turned red. I can do the same thing with my headings, my typography as well. You have access to so many Google uh, fonts in here, I think hundreds of them and uh and so on and that's basically it for the page builder plugin i'm pretty sure there are a few other features available with the plugin which i haven't had uh the chance to do so uh just yet because it's still in the alpha stage they're still going to make some adjustments uh before the official uh plugin is available to start working on working with on live sites uh when that becomes available i might do a comparison uh, with Elementor and see whether or not it's actually a better uh, plugin than Elementor. I will say one thing though, uh, given the fact that this was a page builder plugin built by the same guys who designed Oxygen, I can almost say that this page builder plugin is going to be faster uh, than Elementor because Oxygen is way faster than Elementor and since it's the same group of developers, I can only imagine it's going to be uh, faster than Elementor. So already it seems to have one advantage over Elementor. Uh, whether or not it's going to be better than Elementor remains to be seen. Elementor just has so many support from like, you know, third parties. You can get so many different kinds of uh, elements and functionality and features. And I don't know if Breakdance on its own will be able to compete with that. But I will say that from the first impression, I am very, very, very impressed with this uh, page builder plugin. It's definitely one I am very excited about. I will definitely uh, take a closer look at the plugin once it's officially released. Oh, by the way, you do also have the uh, responsive uh, mode in here. You know, you can change the, the, the mode, phone landscape, phone portraits, and so on. So you have, you pretty much have everything you need. You know, you can build templates for your singles posts, pages, your search page, your you know blog page, and so on. So it's it's pretty awesome. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, that's it for today's review of uh, Breakdance. Uh, let me know what you think. Are you excited about this particular uh, page builder plugin? Uh, do you think it's going to be worth $149? I don't know yet. Uh, it remains to be seen. Um, but there are a lot more new features that are going to be added. So anyway, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone who may feel might benefit from it. And if this is your first time uh, watching the video, my name is Alex. Uh, I make tutorials on WordPress and web development in general. Welcome. Do hit the like button. Do subscribe. Hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Okay, so that's it. See you next time. Stay safe. Cheers.